Could a vintage radio really hide a component worth its weight in gold? Well, today we're going to find out. Hello people, Joe from Hello Sailor Effects here. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going on a quest to find the elusive, the magical NKT275 germanium transistor. I'm going to be paying special attention to a radio known as the Pi Poplaner 1363, which is known to contain this transistor half of the time. Join me as I scour through two different radios in search of gold. Here we have our two transistor radios. This one is from the late 50s, so a bit earlier, and I'm not expecting to find an NKT275 in there, but I just couldn't help myself but buy it to see if maybe we get some of the flat, older style NKT transistors in there. Maybe, who knows? And then we'll move on to the creme de la creme, the piece de la resistance. Um, this bad boy because we know that these usually or half the time either use NKT or Tobisha 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 um, transistors inside so it could be one of the two SB types or it could be NKT so if we can find the elusive NKT 275 in here that will be mission accomplished and all the money I spent on it will be well spent and if not I'm a fool and I fell flat on my face and it's all over the internet fantastic Right, so I'm going to start with this one just because, um, well, age before beauty and all of that. Okay, so this is what we find inside the older one. Now, what cannot be shown on camera is the smell. And anyone who's worked with vintage electronics of any kind will know the smell. It's like a musty, yeah, can't explain. But as we can see, poking out the side here is one of the aforementioned flatter versions of the NKT transistors that predated the, the round can NKT275s. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue pulling this out and see if we can flip this board over and see exactly what's on it. Okay, so this turns out to be an absolute gold mine. Here we see one, two, three NKT164s, 163 and a 16, not too sure what that is. I don't really know that model, but we'll test them and see what they're like. We've got some Mullard, Orange, uh, sorry, some Mullard mustard, mustard caps. Two other conspicuous transistors here that are enclosed, so that, that's interesting. We'll see what's in them. And then we've got some of them flat type, older style NKTs that I mentioned before. There's some silver Mika caps in here that are also worth keeping if you can salvage them. I don't go as far as salvaging the resistors from these anymore just because I've got so much and I haven't moved into my workshop yet. But I'm going to go ahead and start removing some of this and, and see what we find. After releasing the two um, heat-sinked heat transistors, I found that they are, in fact, round can NKT 271s. So they're really good. Reasonably expensive now to find. And um, and if they test good, they'll definitely be going in, in Range Masters or Fuzz Face Pedals. Fantastic. So this is the mainly useful stuff that I've removed from that, uh, that PCB. I mean, I could have took the Lemco... Uh, silver mica caps I may still take them but just check this out this is gold pin NKT uh, 182s I actually don't think this is a 50s a 50s um, radio I think that may have confused me just because the look of it this is definitely uh, more modern than that because these are more modern transistors unless someone has changed them in the past of course that is so let's let's test them out and see what we got I really do like that these have gold pins. I mean, when you're there salvaging old old radios, you don't tend to see that all, all that much. So it's a PMP germanium, good, which we want. Current gain is 162, which is brilliant. That's strong for the germanium. Oop, I went past the leakage. And the leakage is 0 0.042 milliamps. That's bang on. Anything below 100 is spot on for pretty much anything. Um, that's good, that would even be good for a Q1 position, even though it's a bit strong. A Q1 position for a fuzz face, which is amazing. Now onto the NKT 271s. Now these are obviously the ones that I'm most interested in. Let's see what we've got here. I'm having to deal with this horrific crocodile clip, clip on the end of this one, because my clips broke. Of course they did. So PMP 84, spot on. As long as the, uh, the leakage, leakage is 200, so 0.2 milliamps, 
which is a lot really. And the most I'd ever use is 300, and I'm aiming for under 100. So, am I going to use this? Most probably in a Range Master on a switch with another silicon. So then, if there's heat issues or any other issue with it, we can um, the, the user can just flip to the other transistor. And while I'm here, I'm going to test the other one of these uh, NKT 271s. Hopefully, this one will be equally as good and. Um, and it will be a, a wavy haul, 88, with a leakage of 199, so pretty much bang on. Now that's good, and now here we have an NKT254. Now I've never seen one of these, they are the old, the older um, flat pancake type ones. I usually use the 104s on these. Um, this one actually has gold pins, I've never seen one with gold pins either, which is interesting. I'd love to know all the history of this, I'm, I'm a right geek. So it's a PMP with a current gain of 69, we're here, and a leakage of 129, so 0.129 milliamps, that's spot on. Again, that's very usable. So overall, a great haul. I mean, we've got some uh, some um, mustard caps. I'm happy with that, but now, on to the start of the show. Here we have it. So they come in these leather binding um, covers. I'm gonna take this off, I've actually not, um, took this apart yet because I wanted my reaction to be on camera I'm either going to strike gold or not and I'm actually going to keep both of these um, the, these radios I'm going to keep and I'd like to know do you think I should turn them into either a tag board by a Ruby amplifier which you know at a, a solid state um, hand wired practice amp or change them like most people do into Bluetooth speakers Please let me know in the comments. Right, here we go. These are so like 60s, it's unreal. I, I love it. We've got one, one screw holding on. I'm actually gonna take the back off on camera this time because, well, let's build up a bit of suspense. I wonder if I can remember to put some music in the background here. How's this coming apart? This is my first one of these, by the way. I actually paid 106 pound for this, um, for this radio. I have no clue if it's working, the radio. No clue if it's got the right transistors inside. And if it has, all of them align. I have no clue that they'll be in the right value. Brilliant. If my wife's watching, I definitely didn't pay £106 for it. It's just for the camera, babe, don't worry. <laughs> That's why I'll start off then. There we go. Right, so. Instantly, I'm seeing lots of transistors. Unfortunately, let's get it up to the camera. Unfortunately, right here we can see that one's labeled up with the dreaded Topisha 2SA Z. So that's not good. Round here we have, oh shit. Oh bleep. Round here we've got a, I don't know what that is. NEL, and same here, another NEL. Never heard of them. If anyone's heard of them, please let me know. Um, oh, over here we've got an NKT two seven five. Ladies and gentlemen, we have struck gold. Let me repeat that. We've struck gold. So over here, they can right underneath is the fabled NKT275. There's also some other conspicuous transistor looking shapes with NKT wrote on next to it. Brilliant. I, if you could see my face on camera right now, it's one of massive relief that I paid all this money for this and there's actually something inside it. I'm gonna remove the board now and um, and we'll get a closer look, try and take them out and see what we can uh, see what we can do. While we've got it open, it's all together though, just look, you can see that at this point, Pi, I've moved over from using high quality mullard mustard caps to these green things um, that everyone tended to go for. The quality of the components dropped at this point, in my opinion. Anyway, now the board's out, we can see that we have, in fact, four NKT transistors. There's the NKT275 there, an NKT278 there that I've never used before. NKT271 in this corner, again another 271, 
I'd imagine it's doing the same job as it was in the last radio. And then an NKT773. Again, I've never used that one. We'll get them all out now and we'll see what's going on. Give them a test and see what's usable or not. That was quite an exciting haul. As you can see, I've got a MyRadar transistors here. Four NKTs in total. I'm really happy with that. And they're the four I'm going to test now. Um, first of all, we've got the NKT271. We've already reclaimed two of them. And if we remember, they were around 200 HFE with 200 leakage as well. Sorry, they were about um, 150 HFE with 200 leakage. And here we see we've got 57 HFE, so a real low gain. Still could be used in a range master and leakage of 331, which for me is unusable. So I won't be putting that in anything. I, in fact, I have got a germanium buffer that, um, that I'll be putting them in. And now we've got the 773. This is an interesting one. I've never used them before. Damn crocodile clips, the bane of my life. I don't know why I haven't changed it. Anyway, here we have PMP germanium, of course. 56 HFE, which is still good for the range master. Still good for Q1 of a fuzz face. And 168 milliamp. So this is going to be uh, a range master transistor, definitely. Now we're going on to the 278. This has actually been covered in like a... Um, heat shrink sleeve I'm assuming to protect it against components close to it I see that quite a bit in the uh, radios I don't know if any any radio guys can tell me that one I'd be interested to know so our 678 uh, sorry 278 128 HFE so the gain is right up there happy with that and it's got a leakage of 425 which makes it completely unusable in anything other than a germanium buffer or one of my octave pedals Still, not bad. And now, the moment of truth. Drum roll, please, maestro. I'm actually quite uh, quite nervous about this because I have a feeling it's going to be unusable. This is, of course, the infamous NKT275. The whole reason we, we searched out this popular a radio uh, by Pi is to, to get this transistor. So here we go. Oh my god, it's got a, a HFE of 74, that can be more perfect for both Range Master and Fuzz Face Q1. Come on now, moment of truth. Would you believe that the HFE on this one is 0 0.275? What? <laughs> NKT275, and there you'll have it. HFE of 0.275, which would be good for the Range Master, as long as I fit it to one with a switch and give it a different option. It's right up there. 300 is the most I'll, I'll use. Um, 275 is good. Right. There we have it. The NKT 275. Hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been fun for me to reclaim all these old parts. And this is pretty much what I do. Sit online searching out old radios or old equipment.